embarking on a career in law enforcement is both thrilling and challenging, especially when you're just starting out. To make the transition smoother for you, I've compiled a list of three essential things that all new police officers should know. So whether you're a rookie officer or you're considering joining the police department, pay attention because these tips will help make your job that much easier. First, watch how you talk to people. Show respect. This is gonna make your job that much easier. I'm not saying you have to be a doormat and allow people to shit all over you. I'm not saying you should ever compromise officer safety. What I'm saying is, unless it's unsafe to do so, you should start off every encounter with a friendly demeanor. Imagine someone you care about calls the police and the cops show up with a poor attitude, as if they'd rather be anywhere else but here. Maybe the cop talks down to them, right? Maybe it's your mom, maybe it's your sister, maybe it's your wife or your husband. How would that make your family member feel? How would you feel? First impressions are lasting impressions and unfortunately, that person is not gonna say that officer dipshit was an asshole. They're gonna say the entire department were assholes. Think about every video you've ever seen on social media showing a cop doing something stupid. The majority of people have a hard time distinguishing between an individual and a group. They're gonna call the entire profession out. My uncle was a career law enforcement officer. He was a chief when he retired, and I remember when he retired, I was getting into law enforcement at the time, and he gave me very invaluable advice. He said, watch how you speak to people. He went on to say that most of the cops who get assaulted, it's because their mouths get them in trouble. Also, when you're working the streets, people get to know who you are, especially in higher crime areas, because there's usually more police contact where the crime is. Gathering intel is essential in becoming a good police officer, especially a good street cop. And where do we get intel? We get it from people. No one's gonna give information to an asshole. So whether you're dealing with a business owner or a school teacher or a gangbanger or a drug dealer, put your personal opinions aside and treat everyone the same. You'll be respected much better if you do this. Nothing's guaranteed. There are people out there that are still gonna wanna hurt you no matter how good you treat them. Being nice is not being soft. If you gotta go hands-on, you go 110%. But for the most part, if you have to arrest someone, you're more likely to be successful if that person feels that you showed them respect. If they feel disrespected, they're more likely to resist arrest, flee, or kick your ass. That badge and gun doesn't make you stronger. Remember that, you're still a human being. Case law is the body of law that is made up of court decisions. It's important for police officers to know case law because it can affect how you do your job. For example, in Terry versus Ohio, the Supreme Court established the reasonable suspicion standard, which allows police officers to stop someone if they have reasonable suspicion that a person is involved in criminal activity. This means that you just can't go around stopping people because they look suspicious. You need to have a reason to believe that they're involved in a crime. Obviously, this case law decision is very important to police officers because it dictates who we can and cannot detain. Have you ever watched those police auditor videos? Some are quite embarrassing. Knowing as much case law as you can and the three levels of police contact, your consensual contact, your reasonable suspicion, and your probable cause will help you make faster and better decisions on the street. Some of the best street cops I know all had one thing in common. They all got out of their car and they talked to people. A big portion of your job is getting to know your area. You should know who your hotel clerks are, your convenience store workers, your business owners, your residents, your apartment managers, your drug dealers, your drug users, your car burglars, and other street people. You can't get to know them if your windows are rolled up and you're simply driving through. Get out of your car and talk to people. I'm not just talking about arrests. Obviously, taking criminals off the street is extremely important. But every once in a while, just get out and talk to those guys. Show them some respect. When my partner and I were assigned to robbery homicide, a big reason why we were successful in clearing cases was because during the years when we were on the streets cutting our teeth, we got to know the area. We were extremely proactive. Sometimes we took folks to jail, sometimes we cut them a break. But we got out of our cars for years that built the foundation and then years later, some of those same drug dealers and shooters would filter intel to us. You may not work a high crime area. I've worked all types of areas, rich neighborhoods, low income suburbs, a business districts. It didn't matter. My policing style was always the same. My goal was to get to know everyone I could. Get out of your car. <laughs>